Conifers include some of the largest, tallest, and oldest living organisms on our planet. The giant redwoods of California are famous for being the largest trees on Earth. But now, conifers need our help. Well, out of the 650 conifer species in the world, almost half of them are threatened with extinction. And that's from a number of things like unsustainable logging, low habitat loss, and uh, climate change. Conifers have become very threatened because of detrimental um, pathogens, things like um, pests and diseases. Um, and we're seeing in places like North America now, uh, whole species being wiped out of a single state in a very short period of time. In Scotland around 200 years ago, plant hunters like David Douglas and Archibald Mingus from Perthshire brought back conifer seeds from around the globe, helping to create some of the most diverse and breathtaking woodland landscapes in the UK. Well, in Scotland, we appreciate the legacy of plant hunters like Mingus and Douglas. Uh, they're really important in bringing species from overseas. And we also celebrate great tree planters like the Dukes of Athol. They were nicknamed the Planting Dukes of Athol and they became very famous and started out a lot of the forestry tradition in, in the Perth area. We've got probably the greatest concentration of big trees up anywhere else in Europe. Nowhere else in Europe can match it. So quite rightly, Perth is now known as big tree country. Now, a new project called Internationally Threatened Conifers in Our Care, or ICONIC, is aiming to help save some of the world's rarest trees by planting them in Perthshire's renowned big tree country. We collect the seed um, in the wild and we bring it back here to the Royal Botanic Gardens, Edinburgh, and then find what we call safe havens or safe sites within Perthshire we're using our expertise here in Scotland to make Iconic a success. In Perth's a big tree country, we've got the people. We have the climate and the growing conditions are perfect. We also have a long history of doing innovative planting in the area. And we're now beginning to show how this project can be delivered on a bigger scale. If we don't help conifers, it's like not helping the rest of biodiversity. In the end, Man, man will suffer. The most important thing is to try and keep these living systems as intact as possible. You can help make a difference by spreading the word about the Iconic project. Join us. Become a friend of Iconic today. The main phase of Iconic will focus on a core group of 20 threatened species and will establish conservation collections across Perthshire to provide breeding populations. So our hopes for the project are that over a period of five to ten years we can get about five to seven thousand individual trees in the ground in Perthshire representing at least 20 threatened species. We'll be planting a range of species from species like a Serbian spruce from the Balkans and other species like Chilean pine, better known to most of us as the monkey puzzle, which is endemic and threatened in Chile and Argentina. Modern day plant hunters will travel vast distances to collect seeds from across the world. We were working in Bosnia with colleagues from the forestry faculty there collecting seed from populations of Serbian spruce. And this work resulted in the category of threat for the species actually being increased from vulnerable to endangered, which is bad news. But at the same time, we made probably the most comprehensive set of seed collections ever that have been introduced to Britain, and that will allow us to conserve the species very effectively in Scottish gardens, forests and estates. Typically, seed is sown in the autumn or winter, and then it germinates the following spring. And then it's grown on in our nursery until it reaches a size where it's of planting size, that means it can be sent out into the field, planted, and it will get away and establish itself fairly quickly. Some of the trees could get very big, I mean things like coast redwood which we're planning to bring in. It'll grow almost up to a metre a year when they're established. In due course they'll reach over 50 metres, and future giants of an even bigger tree country. If we fast forward, uh, say 50 or 60 years, a lot of these species will be even more threatened than they are now. And what we're hoping to do is to be able to use some of the, this material to help 
uh, what we call restoration projects in the wild where they naturally occur. Funding is necessary to get the, the momentum, not just to create, to collect now and grow the trees on, but to provide a long lasting legacy and to leave something behind both locally in Persia for the future, but also for the rest of the world as well. Like the trees themselves, given time and care, Iconic can grow into a force that makes a real difference to global conservation. And, just as we enjoy the trees planted by our Victorian ancestors, the Iconic project will add to the Big Tree Country experience, bringing pleasure for generations of visitors to come, paying tribute to the people who played their part in conserving the world's conifers. By subscribing to the Iconic project, a little help from you now will be remembered forever. Please log on to our website and join the Friends of Iconic Network today.